and welcome to a mod showcase slash review. And today we are going to be taking a look at the Beta Days mod. Now this mod is fully configurable, so you can uh, kind of pick and choose what you uh, want to pull from and take, basically use aspects from the Beta from the Beta Days, as it says, and or Alpha. There are quite a few features in this mod. Uh, it has to be configured, otherwise when you first load the game, it's not going to do anything at all. So, The uh, config file is pretty straightforward. It uh, disables combat changes, the normal stuff like that, to literally make it look and feel like the beta days of Minecraft, as it says. Now, to add to the authenticity of this mod, I uh, highly recommend that you actually use a resource pack, so... I uh, apparently currently am not, but anyway, let's uh, get into this. That's from a failed attempt at this when I realized that uh, OBS wasn't recording. Lovely. So we're just going to create a new world, uh, more world options, and we are going to create a buffet world because originally Minecraft only had uh, maybe a handful of biomes. You had forest, plains, desert and savanna. A lot of those looked vastly different than they do today and the terrain generation was very different than it is today. I actually kind of like it slightly better because it's so unpredictable. Makes for a fun game. But yeah. I honestly don't know what happened to it. Now um, yeah I didn't Back in those days, I wasn't playing Java Edition, so uh, I didn't really get to see any of, any of it firsthand, but I saw videos. I played on Xbox Edition, where the uh, terrain really wasn't that special, shall we say. I'm just going to turn this all the way up so we can get the best experience, or best FPS possible. Excuse me. And as you can see, I uh, adjusted the settings to make it feel like it would have back then. As you can see, there are some things that are different, like uh, no hunger bar and uh, no experience bar. Because those were added in beta 1.8, which uh, was um, called the adventure update, I think. So, this makes it look and feel like it would have before Beta 1.8. So, as you can see, back in the old days, food wasn't stackable. And uh, because of that, it uh, made its importance much... It made it much more important. So, basically, as you can see, when you take damage, you do not regen it unless you eat food and basically <laughs> what that means is food was kind of a resource that uh, you had to be careful with because if you got into a sticky situation with where you're cornered by mobs in a cave there's not much you can do and night oh also this mod removes sprinting so basically it there's not a lot of changes that the game made over the years that made it feel too different from the beta versions. Oh, I mean, remove sprinting, remove the hunger bar, remove the XP bar, and it literally gives you almost the exact same feel. Now, um, one thing that has changed that, uh, for better or for worse, mob AI, that there's no mob that, or mod that reverts that. And also, in the old school days, you couldn't click, you couldn't uh, drag that through there, and it would place it in. But that's not something that changes with this mod, so no worries there. You can still quick craft like that if you uh, truly want to. And if you want to really make it feel like the beta days, you can uh, kind of role play it like it is. But yeah, I'm not really into that. <coughs> now, um. Yeah, one of the uh, huge challenges this adds in is uh, 
that seriously andesite? Come on. There. Now, um, yeah, like I was saying, one of the uh, huge challenges that this makes is health, your resources like that are limited. When you're going into a cave, you have to consciously make the decision of, basically, you don't have a lot of inventory space, because you, you need to take food. Food's a no-brainer, right? You have to take food, because there, are, it's a cave, there's going to be mobs, and with the, uh, newer mob AI, where skeletons are actually dangerous as ranged beast, you kind of have to really think about that, because they're not just going to walk up to you like they actually did in beta. They're going to stay away. Now, if you're really good, you can still use the uh, strafe to the sides and not get hit by arrows, but they're uh, much better shots nowadays. So, good luck with that one. Whew. But, um, yeah. The one thing I... Oh, sticks from the trees. The one thing I really wish that this mod did was, um... I wish it, uh, replaced uh, zombies' drops with feathers like they actually were. But, as far as I know, it is extremely hard to change stuff like that in, uh, the newer updates. 1.7 wasn't so hard, but... Yeah, this this one kind of is so I'm just gonna put that down in the hotbar and also uh, one of the big challenges with this is with food not stacking is animals are not the most common or their respawn rates aren't that good contrary to popular belief they do respawn they're, the respawn rates just absolutely suck. So, yeah. See? Also, uh, this mod does not disable splash damage, which is... Uh, also, I believe that if I throw items on the ground... Yeah. They're not... Okay. So, sometimes they clump together. Sometimes they do the, uh, clump thing. So, but see, this much food, I believe, how much is this? Let me get it. So, that is nine, so that'd be ten pieces of food. <laughs> Just ten. Which in Minecraft wouldn't last very long, maybe an hour. But ten pieces of food take up a huge chunk of your inventory in this as it used to um there i can't stand the uh lines that it, i was having but yeah just 10 pieces of food people that's all it takes to really fill your inventory and if you're not good at the game you're go you're going to need you're going to find out you need that very fast so yeah also Beds have a raised important in this. Importance? Not important. Importance is the word I was looking for. In that it, when it gets dark, one, because of my settings, it's going to get dark, and two, it's basically a death wish being, out, being outside at night. I mean, unless you just stand perfectly still, but even then, zombies are still going to walk up to you, and skeletons can see you from, I think, 20 to 30 blocks away, somewhere in that range. So yeah, it's really not safe. And also, you can still get effects like poison, which if you get poison for very long, it's going to be pretty not good for your health. So yeah, I'm just basically playing Minecraft normally, and I don't have cheats enabled, do I? Okay, let me fix this real fast. I'll be, actually, I'm just going to show this. Now, um, okay, I'm going to enable desktop capture and uh, disable window capture. 
Okay, good. Minecraft is still working, or OBS is still working properly. Now if we go to Open World folder, now to enable cheats in a world that you don't have them enabled, you can, uh, it's literally as simple as going to level.dat and clicking on data, allow commands, change it from 0 to 1, and hit enter. Then control S or file save. Either method really, really works. You Basically, uh, control save is a macro, so yeah. Either or works, just depends on your preference now. Click uh, cancel and then go back in. Anyone have successfully enabled cheats? That is how I get my screenshots. I uh, make a copy of the world and enable cheats on a copy I use for creative, which is how I got my screenshot for episode one of my 1.15 Let's Play. Slash give at S torch 64. Now you can play this like you would normal Minecraft or modern Minecraft with the brightness up, but for the uh, authenticity, um, I'm going to play it like it would have been played in, back in beta. So, yeah. Um, basically, I think that this is a um, really good demonstration on... Uh, right here, I'm basically just demonstrating what it'd be like to go caving. And find a dead cave. <laughs> but, yeah. Basically, it's... I was hoping to run into mobs there so I could kind of demonstrate combat and uh, the importance of avoiding it, if at all possible. But yeah, basically, being out at night because you cannot run, you, can, you can't run away from mobs. Being out at night is... Whew, basically, do it if you want to get frustrated. But I, I just... Actually, did they get rid of uh, sprint swimming? And this, that'd be interesting if they did. Hmm. I gotta test that real fast. Huh. You cannot use any of the update aquatic features. Interesting. But yeah. Basically. I'm going to wait till it gets night just to show that off. I'm also going to do slash game roll keep inventory. Keep inventory. True. Because you guys are about to see what, why it's not fun to be out at night. Ooh, pigs. Okay, I have a bunch of food, so maybe I'll be fine. But creepers, oh, they're, they're just not, not good for anything in this. They, they, they suck. I mean, seriously. One and done. Because you, you can't run away from them, and they're almost faster than you to some extent, so, yeah. So, yeah, it's uh, night. Now, it'd be better if I just selected regular world so we could uh, get a plains biome, but. Oh, it's going to be interesting anyway. Do I survive? Do I die? I've got my, uh, my answer is probably not going to survive. Even with all the food in my inventory, the chance of me surviving this is not very high. Now, one thing I do like that they did in this, by the way, I'm placing torches, so uh, I know my path. But the one thing that they did do in this that I like is it is impossible to accidentally eat your food. 
which was an actual feature of beta. You could accidentally eat your food. Now, what difficulty am I on? Normal, okay. I haven't seen any mobs, which is unusual. Yep, there. Eh, 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 eh. Oh. Okay, now do you see why I say this is difficult? Because if you're not good at s strafing, which I am not... Now, um, throw zombies into the mix, and, yeah. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. No. 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 <laughs> uh. Uh. Yeah, see? Now, the good thing here is uh, zombies drop rotten flesh sometimes, which can be used as food, albeit not very good food, but... Thank you. Where's the other wolf? Dang you. <laughs> my enemy. You are my enemy. But, uh, yeah. It is a challenge to survive at night in this if you do not have lots and lots of food. If I didn't kill as many animals as I did on the way here, I would have been dead long ago. Shoot me. Come on. Shoot me. Whoa. I did not mean to hit my dog. I did not mean to hit my dog. Uh, I put him in love mode. Oops. So, basically, if you want to survive the night, you're going to have to have food and kill anything and everything. And that there's my golden ticket string. Because that, that would be enough to craft a fishing rod, and you could just hunker down and fish all night and get food. But yeah, basically, <sighs> this makes modern Minecraft, and I'm not even on hard mode, and I've almost died so many times. This makes modern Minecraft hard mode, and hardcore mode for that matter, look easy. So, yeah. I think I've made my point. Survival in this is pretty... I'm not going to lie, this is easy, but only because I have been, I've played it, I've been playing it quite a bit, like for the last two days, so I could uh, do this review, so. I even have a mod pack that I might do a let's play on. Hey Wolfie, hey Wolfie, sit. Stay here and you'll be safe. Go down there and I can't guarantee Let's break that. Okay. But yeah, I think I've made my point. This is um, difficult. If you are good at Minecraft or just want to do something stupid, 
go ahead and go uh, download this mod. It can be found on CurseForge, but of course I'll put the link in the description. So, yeah. If you really want to try a challenge, this mod, or mod, mod, put this mod on hard mode. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Go nuts. Uh, anyway, I have been confined to 68.1. I will see you in the next video or live stream. Peace out, guys.